Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to spend a little bit of time um, continuing on our making the most of desktop environments. And today we come to KDE Plasma. Why? Well, of the two major ones, there's this one and there's GNOME. I already had a build of this. So we are on Calculate, which is a Gen 2 build. And uh, this one does have the panel at the top and we have a hiding dock at the bottom. Um, and so this is just kind of the default um, as far as what is the general default eh, it kind of depends on your build um, a um, Kubuntu Ubuntu with the Plasma KDE desktop so I'm gonna generally use KDE to refer to it I think Plasma is the more technical term for this version they're kind of interchangeable um, that will of course have a panel set up similar to this uh, the basic the the build that is the experimental for the desktop is neon so if you want something that's the absolute closest to what you're going to get, Neon, that one will put the panel at the bottom. Now, there is way too much to go through all of it. The thing about this is that it is one of my favorite desktop environments uh, in that it has so customizable. And I like to customize my desktops. Um, I spend so much time looking at computers. I want to look at, look at my computer and really enjoy what I'm looking at. Um, and so whether you want a, a flat modern um, material design or if you want pure on skeuomorphism, KDE can do any of them. And it can probably do them easier than most other desktops. The challenge is there are so many settings. So you can see here under the, there's appearance, workspace, personalization. Uh, this thing just keeps going down. These are all just the settings categories. And then you click in on one of these and then we have just um, numerous different settings inside of these. So there's just so many settings and so many options. So in one video, and I'm going to try and keep this about 15 minutes or so, uh, we're just going to try and get you enough that you can dive in here and start experimenting and poking. There's really no way to show you everything uh, that the theme can do. Um, but some of the great I, uh, great things about the, the um, uh, Plasma here is that the, you have a lot of ability to add extra themes using online repositories that are automatically built in. So under look and feel, we generally have a few of these. I like the oxygen theme. Um, it's just kind of nice and uh, skeuomorphic. Um, that's kind of what I like. This is a little bit lighter than the one I usually use. Um, but you can just kind of select the one you're, you're wanting to look at, hit apply, and it will automatically create your theming the way you want it. Now, if you want to get new themes and whatever else, you just kind of go ahead and click the get new here. And this actually goes online and it grabs some repos. So you can see here that there's a lot of different options. We can search, we can do rating, you know, rating, the most downloads, the newest, most installed, you know, what's installed, I should say. Um, now, the thing is, is uh, I do find that you will get several of these that may not actually install correctly. So just be aware of that. Um, and there are some cases where you might need to go online and grab somewhere else. You can still install themes manually and fonts manually by dropping them inside of your home folder, dot themes, dot fonts, you know, dot whatever. Um, but this makes it very easy to install them and it has a lot of theme options as you can see. So if we wanted to grab like here's a modern, let's see if this one actually installs. I find that sometimes you might need to reboot the system. Sometimes you might just need to log out, log back in. Uh, not always do your, uh, uh, do your themes show up here right away. So in this case, I'm seeing a case where it does not seem to have shown up. Um, here's just your items. This is actually the one I was thinking of there, the oxygen desktop theme. It's a nice skeuomorphic. You either love it or you hate it. Um, but they give you enough settings here to play with out, out of the box. All right, um, let's go back, see if that modern thing has shown up. So there we are, that's the modern one that we had just downloaded. So click on that and you'll see that this just kind of, um, this one here will just kind of override a lot of different settings. And so now we have this more modern design for it. So there's desktop theme, um, there's our cursors. Oh, there's a bunch in here right now, look at that. Ooh, oxygen blue, let's apply the oxygen blue, there we are. 
So we got some blue. Maybe you want to go with yellows with the blacks. This kind of matches my switch to Linux theme, doesn't it? Ooh. Although it's hard to see on that background. Um, but anyway, you can go down. Here's your splash screen, which is basically your boot up stream. I'm going to leave that at the uh, calculate. Uh, so you can dig through all these. Uh, here's your fonts, of course, your icons. Um, there's calculate. There's not a lot. Again, nearly every one of these things will have this button here, uh, get new themes. This will go online and grab different icon packs, different um, uh, icons, different mouse cursors, whatever else. So you can come in here and do a lot of just different tweaking. So widget style and behavior. So uh, we'll get into widgets in a little bit, but this is where you do your widgets. Here is your window decorations. You can see we're on the calculate. We also have breeze. We can do this one. Uh, we'll give you your window decorations. So you can grab those, of course, up here. Once again, get new directions. This one actually is near the top rather than near the bottom. And then here is your GTK theming. So if you have a GNOME-based application, uh, here's what GTK2 theme do you want, what GTK3 theme do you want, uh, and can you prefer a GTK3 if there's a case. So this is neat because, of course, KDE is uh, based on Qt. Um, GTK will basically give you, make sure you have consistent theming across different types of applications. All right, so go back to application styles, uh, desktop behaviors. Now, by default, Plasma generally is one click to open up a uh, open up a, um, a folder or an application, whatever else icons, single click. Now, it is actually a big time saver. If you're used to it, it's a great thing. So if you are wanting to do that, you can hold control to select multiple different things. You also, though, have the ability to go up in the upper corner, usually will allow you to do that. Um, let's see, so control. I'm not seeing that as an option on this one, um, but you used to be able to do that. But if that really bothers you, you can just come in here, hit your double click, and then what you're gonna do here is now you will have to double click to go into folders. You can display information on a mouse hover uh, or not, and you can display visual feedback, etc. Uh, desktop effects, these are the things that will give you this transparency that you see. Um, these are all the desktop effects, so you want to dig through those. Um, your screen edges, so if, do you have anything set up on the screen edges? I'm not sure if anything is or if I can because we're on a virtual box. Let's go ahead and do a show desktop and apply, see if that works. Okay, so yes, it does indeed work. All right, so that's actually the, the way, um, oh, come on. Well, I gotta get back to those settings now, I guess. Let's just go back to the settings. <clears throat> Pull them back. All right, so this raises another another little issue. One of the things I really like about KDE is just so many so many options. So of course, moving the screen over there will show the desktop. So this is one of these neat little things is that there's actually a difference between what you'd call your show desktop and your and your minimize all windows. That to a uh, a novice computer guy may not recognize the difference. The difference is how does Windows handle showing a desktop versus how does Mac display a showing the desktop. In Mac, everything just pushes out of the way. It's still there. And if you pull one window back up, uh, pull a single window back up, and all of them will come back. I don't like that feature personally, but you do have the option to, uh, you do have the option to um, uh, minimize as well. In fact, I do have the tool here which shows the desktop. So I can toggle to show the desktop here. But these are called widgets. And widgets in Plasma actually have multiple types of widgets for the same functionality. So if you right click on any widget, um, then you can switch your alternatives around. And so here you'll see this one says alternatives. So this one here minimizes all windows instead of um, instead of showing your desktop. So we're going to go ahead. We actually need to go back into settings. What happened is I uh, pulled the task manager off. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and show you how to add widgets. Um, that way I'll get my task manager back up here. We can open our windows back up that I, now that I minimize them. Actually, I might be able to pull them up down here as well. Uh, no. 
That's I am accounts. All right. So widgets are managed a few different ways. You can right click the desktop and you can see add widgets down here. Uh, you also have a little hamburger menu up here, which will give you the ability to add widgets. This is technically to the panel. Now, Plasma is either going to have in the upper right or in the upper left. It is going to have another separate floating hamburger menu that I'm guessing is covered by this top panel that is your add widget. So on this particular build and probably Kubuntu, you're going to want to add widgets by right clicking and hitting add widgets here. This is going to pull up this widget bar. And this is where you want to add a variety of different things. So what we actually want to look for is a task list. Um, so uh, switch between running applications. We're just going to grab this guy. And what we have here now is you can put widgets on the desktops or on the panels. So right now we just put that on the desktop. I kind of want it on the panel. So I'm just going to hold, click, and drag it and just drag it up to the panel. So now you can see here that the one option actually um, hid everything and if I pull one of them back it comes back but if I come down and minimize all windows instead now they actually behave a little bit differently now I should be able to right click and um, I should be able to right click this guy and select an alternative um, I'm not seeing that option on this so what we're going to do is go back to add widgets and I'm going to look for minimize all windows alright so with this I'm going to drag this one up to the panel and that is now this one over here minimize all windows and I'm going to remove um, and maybe that's not allowing me to remove that one all right uh, let's just go ahead and edit this guy there we go here's my show desktop I'm gonna remove the show desktop one anytime you remove a widget it will give you this option over here you can undo it um, and so now I have the ability to minimize my windows here. You used to be able to right click this and select that as an alternative. Where we can do an alternative is your application menu. This kind of gives us a very simple menu. We have some favorites over here. We can search for applications and we have all our categories. But if you instead right click the menu and view alternatives, there's a few alternatives. Now there's several different menus. The three primary ones you're going to see is the application menu, which we currently have, the application dashboard, which is a full screen, kind of like GNOME or the Mac launcher, and there's the application launcher. So we'll switch the menu to this. So now when I click my menu, I pull up this application launcher instead. This is a really neat function. I do like this. All right. Uh, the other one, and actually my, my preferred menu on when I'm running KDE is actually the application launcher. I just think that it's a very nice, very modern looking uh, menu here. It might be extra work, so it kind of depends on, on uh, who you are. So here's our favorites. Here's our basic application menu. Here is our basic uh, My Computer with your uh, various locations. Here's your application history and your logout system. Of course you can pull this down and search for anything just by typing. Of course Cozy is nothing but Cody is actually an application. So um, we have the ability again with our widgets. We can just select the different widgets. You can see there's so many different types of widgets, um, different types of clocks, there's different modules, there's um, tools in here to connect to your uh, to your Android phone. You can even allow your Android phone touchscreen to control your mouse on this if you set that uh, particular device up on your system. So you can grab anything that you might need. There's a weather report, um, things like that. So you can actually do that. Now if you are happy with the way your widgets are and you do not want to risk any of those being moved, you can always um, come down here and right click and hit this lock widget button. The lock widget button you'll see that that gets rid of the little hamburger menu so I can't accidentally edit my panel, I can't accidentally move any widgets around, everything is now locked. Now to, you'll even notice here that um, there is not the option to view alternatives but we can unlock widgets. So you need to unlock the widgets to get your alternatives. All right. 
So let's see, we've looked at doing our widgets, we've looked at our variety of settings. Um, of course, we can configure our desktop just by right clicking. This is, um, I think this panel here is inside of one of the settings, but I can't remember for sure. But here we have a variety of different um, uh, wallpapers to choose from. Again, you have the option to get a new wallpaper or you can add your own. Here's your mouse actions. What do all of your buttons do? Your right button, your left button, your middle button. Here's your locations. You can show a desktop folder or you can show a place. Maybe if downloads is a popular thing that you do. Um, and you can do, so you show the desktop folder. I should be able to see something there. Okay, so there's nothing in my downloads folder. That's why there's nothing here. So if you select, uh, if you select the uh, downloads folder, anytime you download something, it will show up. But if there's nothing there, then it won't. All right, so here's my home. Um, if there's my home place, or if I just want to select my home desktop folder, I can go ahead and do that, or I can specify a folder path. So those are some options there. Um, this is how we can arrange our icons. We can arrange them in rows or columns aligning to the left or the right. We can lock our icons in place so I won't be able to move things. We can do unsorted, which will allow you to drag and drop your icons, or you can sort by a variety of different options. And then you can go with your uh, size options here as well. So if you want to do microscopic all the way up to Honey, get me my glasses. You have a variety of options inside of here to pick. Uh, text lines, you can pick how many text lines, tool tips, things like that. Uh, there's filters, there's some basic tweaks. Um, so that is your various desktop items. All right, um, we can create new files here um, just by right clicking. Um, there is actually, here's another thing. You can actually disable desktop icons. Let me see if I can remember exactly how to do that. I don't think it's in the configure desktop, but it might be. Uh, there's wallpapers. Okay, so if we come up here and right now we're in this folder view. Now it says widgets are locked, so we can't change that. So let's go ahead and unlock our widgets. So now we have this folder view, which is what allows you to put desktop icons on your system. If you don't like desktop icons, you can actually come over here, hit desktop, and now we do not have any ability to run desktop icons. So you can see that there's no add new or things like that. I, of course, prefer the folder view. This is why I like Plasma so much, is it really caters to everybody. Whatever options you have, whatever options you want, you can set it up very modern, you can set it up very skeuomorphic, you can do just a variety of different things, and um, that's, uh, that's kind of what you can do. Here's um, touchscreen uh, options. So the latest version of Plasma does support touchscreens, which I can't show you here. Uh, virtual desktops, how many virtual desktops do you have? So you can set those up as well. You can give them names and things like that. Um, and so here you can see that, that what you're talking about is that there are so many settings you can get lost, but it also gives you the ability to do pretty much everything you want. I guess the only other thing we haven't discussed is how do you move around your panels and things like that. So, of course, make sure your widgets are unlocked. Click your hamburger menu on any of the panels. So here's the hamburger menu for this panel, which is a panel. And here's the hamburger menu for this one. This one here, you can set your height. Just drag this guy here, and you can set your height. Just drag the one that says height. You can set it. I think 32 was the default. Screen edge, again, hold this down, and then you can pick which screen edge it's going to. So you can drop your panel wherever you'd like it to be. You can add widgets, add spacings, and then here if you want to uh, align the center, you can auto hide it, you can set windows that can cover it, you can set windows to go below it. We can um, maximize the panel or we can actually grab this and you know spin the panel down a little bit if you want to do something like that. Uh, so of course we'll come down here and hit the re-maximize button. You can hit the always visible, auto hide, things like that. You can sue your panel alignments left, right, or center. So there's a variety of different settings that you can do on your individual panels. All right.
So there we are. So that in a nutshell is your plasma customization, making the most of the desktops. If I forgot things, please let me know. If we need to do a second video because there's so many options, please let me know. Uh, hopefully this will help you out though with the variety of options and maybe turning on or turning off features you may or may not like inside of your platform. So thanks for coming along. Let me know what uh, your comments are on this video and you can help support the channel with the links up above me or in the description down below.